Hi students, let us start. We have learned that an electric current flowing through a conductor produces a magnetic field. French scientist André Marie Ampere suggested that the magnet also exert an equal and opposite force on the current carrying conductor. These are the topics will be covered during this session. Fleming's left hand motor rule, the motor effect, electric motor, construction and working of an electric motor. Some experiments suggest that a force is exerted on the current carrying rod when it is placed in a magnetic field. It also suggests that the direction of force is also reversed when the direction of current through the conductor is reversed or when you change the direction of field to vertically downwards by interchanging the two poles of the magnet. Thus, we can say that the direction of force on the conductor depends upon the direction of current and direction of the magnetic field. Experiments suggest that the magnitude of the force is highest when the direction of current is at right angles to the direction of magnetic field. In such a condition, we can use a simple rule to find the direction of the force on the conductor. The three direction can be illustrated through a simple rule called Fleming's left hand motor rule. As we know that magnetic field direction is from north to south pole but current direction is taken from plus to minus. What is the statement of Fleming's left hand rule? If you stretch your thumb, forefinger and middle finger of your left hand such that they are mutually at right angles. What is the meaning of that? The angle between the fingers must be 90 degree. The first finger points the direction of magnetic field. Second finger represents the direction of current. And the thumb points the direction of force acting on the conductor. According to Fleming's left hand rule, if you stretch the thumb, forefinger and middle finger on your left hand such that they are mutually right angle. First finger points the direction of field. The second finger represents the direction of current. Then the thumb will point the direction of force acting on the conductor. This rule is used to know the direction of the induced current. Another easy way of remembering the Fleming's left hand rule. You can call it as father, mother and child. Father means force. Mother means magnetic field. Child means current. That's how I learn. When a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, it will experience a force provided that the conductor is not placed parallel to the field lines. This is called the motor effect. The force increases if the strength of the magnetic field is increased, the current is increased. As I already mentioned, the direction of the force is reversed if either the direction of current or the direction of magnetic field is reversed. What is an electric motor? Electric motor is a rotating device that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. Do you know how an electric motor works? Before understanding the working of an electric motor, let us understand the different parts of the electric motor. An electric motor as shown in figure consists of a rectangular coil ABCD of insulated copper wire. The coil is placed between the two poles of a magnetic field such that the arm AB and CD are perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field. The ends of the coil are connected to the two halves of P and Q of a split ring. The inner side of these halves are insulated and attached to an axe. The external conducting edge of P and Q touches two conducting stationary brushes X and Y respectively. Current in the coil ABCD enters from the source battery through the conducting brush X and flows back to the battery through brush Y. Notice that the current in arm ABCD of the coil flows from A to B. In arm CD it flows from C to D. An electric motor consists of an armature ABCD. Usually it consists of a large number of turns wound on an iron core. Then the armature is placed in a strong magnetic field. 
the ends of the armature are connected to two halves that is p and q of a split ring usually in electric motors split rings act as commutator what is a commutator commutator is a device that reverses the direction of flow of current through a circuit here p and q are in contact with carbon brushes x and y respectively the carbon brushes are connected to the battery and the key do you know the working of an electric motor as soon as the key is closed the current in the arm ab flows from a to b and current in arm cd flows from c to d according to fleming's left hand rule as you can see here this is the direction of current and this is the direction of magnetic field and the force will be downward direction that means the arm ab will move downwards while the arm cd will move upwards resulting in the anti clockwise movement of the armature along with the split ring as soon as the armature ab cd reaches its vertical position like this the current through the coil is cut off as the brushes x and y touch the gap between p and q the coil does not stop rotating as it has gained momentum and it goes beyond the vertical position when coil goes beyond vertical position the direction of current along the arms ab and cd is reversed therefore the direction of force acting on ab and cd gets reversed now ab moves up and cd goes down again due to momentum the armature continues its anti clockwise rotation finally the coil reaches its initial position the cycle continues as long as there is flow of electric current through the armature an axle can be attached to the rotating split ring which can be used to do work normally the commercial motors use an electromagnet in place of a permanent magnet second one large number of turns of the conducting wire in the current carrying coil this enhances the power of the motor thanks a lot